even as Steve says that you told her in May that she would be nominated for the liberal candidate for as a liberal candidate in Vimy. Is her recollection of her interactions with you correct? Decisions regarding uh, potential candidacies for the Liberal Party are always uh, processed in uh, an independent and transparent process according to the rules of our party. Uh, we have a green light committee to do that. Uh, we are, I have uh, continued to engage with all our MPs and encouraged uh, them to go through the independent process and I trust the independent process that has done its work uh, in, uh, as a green light committee. You didn't answer my question. I'm going to give you the opportunity to try that again. Did she or did she not recollect her interactions with you correctly? And I have another question for you. Was she denied the nomination because she refused to praise the femi your feminist credentials on social media following the SNC-Lavalin affair? Uh, the process around a green light committee is conducted. Uh, independently according to the rules that we have. Uh, I had uh, many conversations uh, with Madame Nassif and with uh, other candidates who were going through that green light process and every time I expressed hope that it would be successful but I trust the processes we've established as a party uh, and I know that those processes are properly followed. And was she, was she let go though because was she let go because she did not endorse your feminist credentials after SNC-Lavalin? I'm not going to comment on the specific decisions of the Green Light Committee, but those uh, determinations are made uh, on a fair basis according to the rules of, uh, of the party. But uh, in, in this case, uh, that was not the issue uh, that ended up leading to uh, Madame Nassif being red-lit.